defending talks and cutting this deal with the Schumer and the White. Doe with them all. I mean, it's, it's basically three against one. But he got rolled. No, he didn't get rolled. Probably, a, probably be a no. Yes. Yeah. Washington. Okay. Would you prefer a year long CR, you think? I prefer a real budget. Well, what do you think about the speakers handling all these spending talks and cutting this deal with the Schumer and the White House? Of course, I haven't voted for a CR. I think we need to pass a budget, but the reality is nobody wants to do that. And he has a one vote majority. And um, so he's up against the wall. He's going to have to make a tough decision. And um, I support him. I don't necessarily support the CR. I mean, you just. Because of his situation that he's in, the political reality. But the people I represent, I think we need to pass a budget. Again, I mean, this is what caused McCarthy to lose his job in, in the fall. And Speaker Johnson's doing the same thing. No, well, Speaker Johnson inherited a, a bad situation. He's, he's playing under the former speakers, basically under his people. I mean, you know, he has uh, members that are openly uh, displeased with him that were supporters of the previous speaker. So there's a lot going on more than, uh, than being uh, loyal to your constituents. But he could dig in if he wanted to. He's sure. not. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them all. I mean, it's, it's basically three against one. But he got rolled. No, he didn't get rolled. He's just, he's going to move it to the next, uh, the next, next go-around. I mean, I appreciate what you're, what you're saying, but the reality is he's just, he's working hard. He's got to, he's just doing what he can do so under, what, the cir under the circumstances. So what did you get policy-wise from getting rid of McCarthy? Well, he's told me that this speaker is telling me the truth. And um, and I find him to be a very honorable person. He tells us what he's going to do, and uh, he hasn't lied to us about anything. He's been very truthful all the way through. And I'm not talking about policy. I'm talking about character. Well, under this speaker too, he's uh, he's he's uh, with the former speaker leaving early. He's really put us in a very bad spot. So the speaker is just having to maintain. He's just bailing. Here. That's about all he can do. If he moves on a sub, uh, any sort of Ukraine aid package without a border, would that be a problem from him within the conference? Yeah, of course it would be. But uh, if, if you brought individual bills up, they would probably pass. All, all of them would pass. You'd pass something on the border. You'd pass something on Israel. Um, you'd pass something on Ukraine if you individually broke them down. But, but if, if you moved on Ukraine, would it cost him his job? I don't know if it cost him his job. I would. I would think it'd be ill-advised. Anybody else? Uh, Hunter Biden's deposition yesterday, what is your reaction to and his lawyer uh, yesterday put out a statement saying that he answered every question, uh, basically alluding to the fact that he may not testify publicly. Uh, should Hunter Biden testify publicly? I think he should. Um, we need to put this thing to rest. It's, it's dragging on. Um, you know, the, the Democrats, when they in, in, impeached um, Trump, they did it in about a week or two. I mean, you know, it's very orchestrated. We've um, we've allowed everybody to testify, and, and um, so the Democrats clearly had an agenda, and, and we've just sort of allowed this thing to go its natural course. Do you believe there's enough evidence to move forward with an impeachment? I do. I do. Twenty million dollars. There's no proof anybody's paid any taxes. The IRS is excused. Apparently, let some of the statutes run on that. That doesn't happen to average Americans. But should you guys have a vote? I mean, it looks like articles of impeachment would not have the votes. I mean, if, if, if you don't have, if you don't have, well, our base is demanding a vote. So, um, but if they don't, that's another, that's the choice of the leadership. Okay. We're good? Thanks. Yeah. He's just doing what he can do so under, what, the circ under the circumstances. So what did you get? People I represent, I think we need to pass the budget. Again, I mean, this is what caused McCarthy to lose his job in, in the fall. And Speaker Johnson's doing the same thing. No. Yes. Of course, I haven't voted for a CR. I think we need to pass a budget, but he's just, he's going to move it to the next, uh, the next, next go around. And, you know, I mean, just because of his situation that he's in, the political reality. A tough decision. And um, I support him. I don't necessarily support him. If he wanted to, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's he's he stood toe to toe. I prefer a real budget. Well, what do you think about the speakers? I mean, I appreciate what you're what you're saying, but the reality is, he's just he's working hard. He's got the supporters of the previous speaker, so there's a lot going on more than uh, 
Loyal to your constituents. So he could dig in and handling all these spending talks and cutting this deal with the sugar and the white. Oh, with them all. I mean, it's basically three against one. But he got rolled. No, he didn't get rolled. Probably be a no. Yes. Yeah. Would you prefer a year long? No, it is. Nobody wants to do that. And he has a one vote majority. The former speakers, basically under his people. I mean, you know, he has 